first great status on the film. Thank you. Um, this is quite a, an undertaking to kind of go back and, and bring Wonka to life in a in a different way. What what possessed you to want to <laughs> to, 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 to do this to mess with? <laughs> I think to mess with it's, it's a, a legacy, a level of self loathing that can only be addressed through. Uh, uh, Chocolate. <laughs> re- re- yeah. re- revisiting people's childhoods and uh, changing them slightly. Um, well, I think I think firstly that it felt like quite a rich sort of world to us, and like yeah. it did feel like a story that I think even Roald Dahl tried to sort of wanted to expand on it. And so many clues in in Charlie and Chocolate Factory as to what had gone on before, lots of backstory sort of stuff. Like with with the chocolate cartel as we turn them into and fickle Gruber and Prodnose and uh, and Slugworth, and so it did feel when Paul first mentioned it to me as a possible you know adventure to embark on. I it wasn't like like you going what possess you. To <laughs> it it's, was like wow, what an incredible chance to get involved with those characters and yeah. and um, we felt we could be true to that and. But expand on it. It's funny, isn't it? Because this is a combination of terrifying, because uh, Roald Dahl's pretty good at writing stories, Mm. uh, but also exhilarating because you go, well, I get to explore the ideas that Roald Dahl had, and he's going to be a sort of a a, a third writer on this in some ways. And uh, he's obviously a a, a giant of a storyteller, and uh, it's very exciting to get to play with his train set. Yeah. I know there was a lot of talk back in the day of... of people's idea of who could play you know when the first idea was kind of floated about who could play really one all that kind of stuff i guess i've spoken to so many filmmakers about how important casting is i guess when you get someone like timothy to come and do it a lot of your job becomes i guess a little bit easier because you've got someone like him doing something that is a little bit different for, for him as well uh, yeah i think it's yeah. a, a very different uh, a very difficult uh I don't think many people could do it, and 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 he, he he there was really a list of one for me that he that that was him because he's so uh, special, and I think he's one of those rare actors who can kind of harness great depths of human emotion and be funny and eccentric and otherworldly, and very precise at the same time, which is which is essential if you're going to be doing something which has got singing and dancing in it that you've got a, an actor who can can hit hit things perfectly and and he's uh he's mesmerizing and that he's a trained sing- singer and a dancer and that he really wanted to that uh, uh, i knew him mainly for bones and all i don't know mm. if you know the cannibal yeah. movie <laughs> very very different movie to one group apart from there's some eating in it but um and then the, and and so he uh, just couldn't wait he was like you know people don't know this side of me and, and he threw himself into the the Dancing yeah. and the singing and, and the, yeah, which was months um, of training. Yeah. I mean, it's sort of it's not a work of five minutes to to do that. And so it was lucky great. to find someone like him who also could do those things and yeah. wanted to show people that he could do them. Yeah, and in this kind of social media age where you've made Hugh Grant a meme in terms of his uh, singing at the end of Paddington and people using his rain right. rain dance for when it's like forty degrees outside and look forward uh, to the rain okay. coming down and stuff. Yeah. Now you've made him an Oompa Loompa. I mean, you just yeah. you've given him all the best roles of his of his. It's essentially, we think of ourselves as meme creators. <laughs> uh, that is uh, the ambition, yeah, isn't it? We've got Hugh in our. In it's our funny because awesome. again, you you look at it, you think Hugh Grant Oompa Loompa, but then when you see it. Well, you thought, I have you to, thought, I have to you put thought. that you guys down as absolute geniuses because it's just well, you thought stuff. no way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Did he take much convincing to do that? Because I imagine it's because it's like guess a lot of motion capture and all that kind I of think stuff. Thank, thankfully, he seems to like us uh, from Panishing Two, and like I think he enjoys, you know, working with Paul on on the set, and he and likes me, what we he likes. I think he likes you a tiny bit more than me. Uh, yeah. Probably uh, a lot. Uh, you sing a lot. Quite, uh, quite a lot. <laughs> Wow. Well, we're really learning something here. He was actually it's going quite, to be awkward quite, tonight. quite explicit about that when, when he wrote me that long letter. Will Simon be on set at all? <laughs> no? Just, Good. Yes, it's in his contract not to have any on-screen time with you, yeah. or off-screen, yeah. which is why is you... Is that why we've never been... Know that, oh, hang on, no, we did at St Paul's. Uh, yes. You, yes. The nun. Well, that one, one and only day. Anyway, sorry, right, we're wasting one. your time. Yes, <laughs> limited time. Uh, just very quickly before I go, how excited are you both to see Paddington in Peru? Because obviously you're kind of peripherally involved, but... Well, very excited. We, we sort of worked on the story yeah, we, in the yeah, early so did, did days. Did the story, yeah. Uh, um, and, uh, but it, but it's, it's, it's nerve-wracking as well because I sort of care about 
Paddington and, and those mm. characters so much and, and obviously spent eight years with them. And, and it's, uh, I think Dougal's a genius. So uh, yeah, he's I, great. I, there are very few people I would sort of trust with my children <laughs> in the same way that, that, that I, I would trust him. I think, I think he's brilliant. Mm. So and, I, and I went on set, I, I went and gave my security card. So you really so, pushed yourself. So don't worry, everyone. Yeah, Nicholas Cage doesn't have to be worried because he did love Paddington too. After that's true, yeah. Just don't disappoint Nicholas Cage. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, that's what I live that's for, you. basically. Well, well, now I know Hugh Grant doesn't like me. I'm going to need a new actor for him to hang Nicholas out. Nicholas Cage, with. there you go. <laughs> He'd be a great <laughs> envelope. Uh, guys, thanks so much actually. for your time. Nice to talk to you both. Good luck. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank cheers. You so Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey!